It's Vibe with your job. With your host, Dramedy Drew. Turn, turn, turn your speakers up. Turn it up. The voice of the dub is about to speak. Listen. What up with my Wichita family? It's your man, Dramedy Drew, and welcome to another episode of Vibe Wichita. I'm here at Mark Paris the shop with a crew that is very enlightened, very conscious, and, and good to go. All right, we're going to start with the introductions here. Yo, 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 this is your boy Andre, a.k.a. The Professor. What's good? Yeah, this is Paris Walker, first lady of Mark Paris. Hi, y'all. It's Chanel, a.k.a. Shanezy. Hello, everyone. It's Erin Nay. What's up, y'all? It's Sasha Andrews, a.k.a. Pinky. You know what it is. It's your boy, Chris, a.k.a. Mr. Know-It-All. Yo, yo, this is Dark the Barber, a.k.a. The Barber's Point of View. Appreciate everybody being here. Appreciate y'all tuning in to Vibe Wichita. This is our second episode that we're going to be posting. And we got a lot of news, a lot of information that we want to get to y'all. We're going to start out first with the world news. We got Muhammad Ali's death. Uh, his funeral is now. Uh, it's actually today. Thousands of people gathered to de- uh, today in Louisville, Kentucky to pay their re- final respects to Muhammad Ali. Chanting the boxing legend's name as a funeral procession drove through his Kentucky hometown. Ali's wife, two of his ex-wives, and his nine children participated in the motorcade. Will Smith, who portrayed the boxing legend in the movie Ali, along with former heavyweight champions Lennox Lewis and Mike Tyson, and three family members are pallbearers. Former President Bill Clinton, Billy Crystal, Brian Gumble, and Ali's wife Lonnie will give eulogies. All right, now, what we got going on from News from the City, Pinky? News from the City. So, Wichita River Fest is almost over, and the events so far have been amazing. The Gospel Fest included gospel artists such as Kiara Kiki Shears, the Cardi Cortez, and a few local singers here in Wichita. Summer Jam popped off, and we had a rap artist, Kevin Gates, turn Interest Bank Arena out. There were, all about, there were about 3,000 people in attendance for the concert. Oscar Clark, an African-American graduate of Wichita East High School, was named the Linwood Sexton Scholarship winner for 2016-2017 academic year at Wichita State University. WSU officials announced on Thursday. The scholarship is a four-year, full-ride package including tuition and fees, on-campus housing, and a book stipend. Clark, a graduate of the International Bachelorette Program at East, participated in the school's marching band, anime club, and sign language club, and was a tutor for math and physics. <laughs> Outside of school, he volunteered for organizations such as the Kansas School Fest. While at WSU, Clark plans to be to major in physics. There you go, there you go. <laughs> That's just the young African American male right there. All right now, what we got going on for the hashtag hash out? Hashtag hash out. Today is National Shoot Your Shot Day. And no, we're not talking about basketball. We are talking about making the first move on someone you either have feelings for or simply have a crush on. Mm. People are searching deep in their IMs in search for the ones that got away. Has anyone ever had a chance to shoot their shot and miss horribly? I shot an air ball uh, when I was- We ain't talking about basketball. Move on. Okay, another note. <laughs> on another note, a Cavs fan responds negatively to Sidell Curry, the sister of Golden State's point guard, Stephen Curry, after she tweets about her family road tripping to Cleveland for game four. The fan's Twitter handle is at Soft Caramel Kiss. It's a guy. And he's responded by saying, You and your whole family get the F out of Cleveland and take Riley's. Uh, a lot of negative stuff talking about her baby uh, back with you so Sadell replies with well we'll be gone Friday bless up Sherelle Del Rosario a person who had witnessed this messy mess unfolding on Sadell's page tweeted wonder if at Holton Wise knows their apprentice agent is using that word in a public forum Holton Wise is the real estate group that at Soft Carmel Kiss works for. They responded with our apologies to all who were at, who were a party to this attack. At Holton Wise does not condone this and we have terminated you. 
<laughs> and good. That's, that's great. Yes, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. All right, now moving on to sports. What we got going on in the sports world, Mister Know It All? Well. Heading into game four of the finals, will the Golden State Warriors or the Cleveland Cavaliers win the NBA title? And in how many games? The Cavs are hosting the game, and Cleveland coming off a 30-point victory in game three. The series is 2-1 Golden State. However, LeBron James and the Cavs have proven they are by no means out of this championship battle. Kevin Love is still a maybe for tonight's game after suffering a mild concussion in game two. All right, appreciate that. All right. Now we want you guys to uh, sit tight. We're going to come back with a discussion, a topic of discussion. And that is, how do you feel about your man having women friends and your lady having male friends? All right, y'all sit back and ponder that. It's Vibe Wichita. The voice of the dub. Don't touch the dial. Lead it. With, 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 with your host, Tromedy Drew. Mark Paris The Shop provides quality hairstyles as well as top-notch service and products for each of their clients. These renowned stylists and barbers combine knowledge, expertise, and the power of touch to achieve the desired results. They will go the extra mile to accomplish this mission with passion, expert advice, and the utmost professionalism and courtesy. So come to Mark Paris The Shop located at 6100 East 21st Street, Suite 210 in Oxford Square, just northwest of 21st and Woodlawn. You are locked into Vibe Wichita. Welcome back, family, to Vibe Wichita. We're going to hop right into the topic of discussion. I know this is something, we know that this is something that probably plays a big part in every relationship between a man and a woman but the question is how do you feel about your man having women friends and your lady having male friends i'll ask that again how do you feel about your man having women friends and your lady having male friends i'm gonna open the floor up for whomever would like to to respond to that question because personally personally i feel like there's a difference between having a female friend or male friend and then having someone that you consider your brother or your sister truly someone you truly consider your brother or sister because once you guys get into a relationship uh it, it's it's noted at the beginning who who they're hanging around who they talk to things like that you know and you will be able to see what type of relationship they have but if there's to, uh, now let's talk about it from a guy's point of view my opinion for my eyes if, if there's a girl that's hanging around me and I, I don't i don't know any other way to put it but i thought about her in a way that i probably shouldn't have thought about her she's probably not i don't consider her a sister in any kind of way or if i'm still thinking of her in that kind of way i don't consider her a sister i wouldn't even introduce her to my lady I, 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 hey no there are but there are some dudes that will there are some dudes that are that are slick like that they they will definitely bring them around just kind of use that as a mask but if you wouldn't do it in front if you wouldn't talk to that person or hang out with that person in front of the person you're with i i I don't i don't consider that a friend i don't consider that some i'm sorry i don't i don't consider that somebody you should even be in contact with but i'm gonna open up the floor that's just my my small opinion well i guess i'll go first this is the professor i feel so this is this is my this is my thing with that are we married or are we dating what is the what is the aspect is it from a dating aspect or is it from a, a marriage aspect? Because that's really going to be the determining factor on what leniency is available at that point in time. So if we're just dating, if, say we, we're courting. If we're courting, you know, we're kicking and we know there's an interest there. There's a possibility for us to get married. It's going to go, number one, on the tenure of the relationship. So it's going to go on the tenure of the friendship. If I if I got that shorty, if I came and I met her and this guy was around, we're probably going to have that conversation as we start to get deeper into our relationship. Like, hey, who, who's dude? You know, I, I, how do you know him? What what Who is he? You know, who is he to you? You know, of course, you're going to be watching the signs. You're going to be looking at everything. But ultimately, I'm going to want to know. I'm going to dissect that relationship as I begin, begin to get involved with that lady. And there's going to be an understanding, you know, of who this gentleman is. Now, if that's her cousin, that's a that's her partner. She didn't have for her, you know her whole lifetime. They grew up together, childhood friends. I don't. I'm not, I'm not going to come in and try to control her. You know, ultimately, Absolutely. that's not going to be a factor on the tape. Right. But there does have to be a respect factor. 
even though a, a relationship, number one, has got to be built on trust. So we got to trust each other. It's got to be there. I'm going to trust her, do her thing. But I, I want her to be respect, respectable to my relationship. And that respect that that gentleman or that other other lady gives is going to come from that individual. So if I'm not sure my relationship respect or if she's not, it's going to come from her. It's going to come from, excuse me, that individual. So if we're dating, I would accept it as far as being a married person. Nah, we cutting off all ties. I mean, it ain't going to even be no confusion on what's going on. <laughs> I ain't going to have to ask you no questions. We ain't checking the phones. We ain't doing none of that. Right, right. Because ultimately, when you got married, you turned your back on the world. You said, this is who I'm with. This, I'm, I'm you know, and, until something changes, unless something changes, we in this. This me and you. Every day, this me and you. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, and Sunday. We're going to go worship on Sunday, but, uh. But ultimately, I would be against it for married couples, but for a friend, yeah. I mean, I'm not married. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't control me at that point. But when we tie the knot, it's a wrap. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right now. Oh, this is first lady. Um, I was I would say I don't have a problem with the males having the because I, I think it's a behavioral thing. I think if I see him interacting with her and I really see that as just a friendship, I don't have a problem with it. Because if he chose me, he chose me. I'm not threatened by, you, you shouldn't be, you know, I, you should be, you and him should have that already in your mind. It's me and you. Like he gonna have girls on a regular popping, all of that. So as far as like a female friend, I don't think that the woman should be threatened unless she's seeing some, she noticing from that woman, she feeling a little bit more than friendship. But it's, if it's really just a friendship, I'm I don't really care about all that. You know, it's a friendship. Most of the time, when you are, you, if you're not married, that's all it's gonna be. Everybody can hang with everybody, get along with everybody. It's genuinely a friendship. But women can notice when a woman is doing more, and a man can notice when a man is feeling more. So when you notice that, that's when you pull your mate to the side, like, yo, I, I'm, 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 I'm. You might want to take notice. You know, as far as a marital thing. I still think it's cool, but like, you know, the professor said, friends to me dwindle off anyway when you become one with somebody else. They dwindle off anyway. If they can't come and add on to what's already going on, they dwindle off by themselves. So I don't see a reason to cut it off. I just see, I mean, it's gonna do what it's gonna do. So there's no need to be like, well, you can't hang with single people no more, you know, or that's not your friend because he's a male or he's a female. They dwindle off anyway because single people don't, I mean, who's to say the friend ain't got a, you know, spouse or whatever. Then everybody can just be cool if they really genuinely friends. I like that response. That was a, that was a pretty good. That was a pretty good response. That kind of had me. Uh, that kind of had me. Kind of. I kind of. I kind of felt the spirit. Say what? Get your female friends. <laughs> nah. No female friends. Nah. Nah. If I mean. If I don't consider if I don't consider them like a like like a literal sister, like like she she knows my family and she's probably been there before my lady was Would there as well. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, then I don't. Yeah. Now you can you can see the difference when it comes to hanging around them. I don't play fight with my sisters. I used to play fight with my female friends, but I, I didn't I didn't really play fight. Oh, got physical. Well, we talking about female friends, but it to me it comes to that point where I do see a female friend like a sister. Like I see you like a sister. I see you like a sister. You like a sister. You my lady. So you know what I'm saying? I, 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 yeah. So that's the yeah. I was already married when you met all these. But I mean, it doesn't. It it it, it, it wasn't a. I mean, so me and you. So yeah. the relationship that we I'm would have, friend. exactly, the relationship we would have would be okay because it was already in grade exactly. before we got I'm married. We're friends. So, absolutely. I think it's okay for me, the opposite sex to be friends. It depends, though. My thing is, is this. Okay, I got my lady. We in, we, we, we chilling. We at the house, popping popcorns, watching movies, eating. She get a call at 1030. For friends about know, what? Friends know how to respect your time. Respect who you are. That's what we're talking. That's up. what we're talking but, about. So. so if she's calling at ten thirty, she's not a good friend. So dark, but, but dark, happens, dark. Mark, how do you feel about this situation? I would like to get the barber's point of view on this really quickly. Dark, how do you feel about it? friendly well, women and uh, friendly men? Well, I don't really entertain it. It's it's foolery to me. You know, once you. Foolery. Yes. 
I'm the only male friend you need. I want to be everything, mm. all you need, mm. you know. You can come get my point of view about a male's point of view if you need a male's point of view. That's just what it is. I don't entertain any kind of foolery, you know. I let it hang. I, I see what it is for what it's worth. I can't tell, you know, a woman and lord over, you can't be friends with this guy or that guy, you know, especially if the friend was before me, you know, but I, I'm definitely, you know, paying attention and real inquisitive about the relationship as a whole, what's going on, and, you know, how he's acting and, you know, like anybody else would, you know, with good common sense and a, and a good eye for just dissecting the situation, you're going to sit back and look at it as any man would, some other man around his lady he likes her so much. He's so giddy and smiling. And like you know, you may you may know or see if this is this man really likes you. You might need to cut that mess off. And you know, don't. You, that's enough. You know, you need to quit entertaining such foolery. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. So, but can, can't you just, tell? Can yeah, you, you can tell. tell. You can tell. You can well, tell. Well, how, of course, you can just tell. like the women can tell. You can tell when there's another woman and how they feel about you. that. Yo, you man. You that's know, every little joke you tell, they're just. <laughs> snickering about it and you ain't even that funny that wasn't even that funny. <laughs> come on now you know but like like you know like the first lady said you know eventually it's probably gonna wither on away you know like like my wife would say she had a male friend and it you know it wasn't it wasn't a threat at all but i knew that maybe he had different thoughts and stuff in his mind maybe but I, you know, me being the confident man that I am, you know, if it's mine, it's mine. You know what I'm saying? If it, you know, if it, if it, if it gets up and walks off, it never was mine. So. And that's what it is. Appreciate appreciate that point. You made a good point. You made a good point. Uh, I hope. Uh, you know what? We just gonna slide on over to. Uh, we gonna we gonna slide over to. Uh, to uh, to the the, the point that Mar- uh, Mark was making, that uh, you know, you you have to you you, you got to catch these. You got to be able to see these things when it comes to to uh, your relationship and the things on the outside. Now, it's one thing, you know, when you're dating, you're you're practicing, you're working on getting married. You date to marry. You date to find your wife, right. your husband. Cool. Okay, yeah, you court exactly. So. You practice those things that you're doing when you're dating for your marriage. So not not per se like the things that you know, like the things you, that you you're not supposed to do before you get married, the adult things, whatever it happens. I think all of us did that beforehand, but I mean, we, we, that, that's that's you know, we we grow from that, you know, we we learn. But the you know the things that are poison that that's what we try not to practice. However, we grow, we move on, and once we're married we i mean at that point we know our counterpart so we know who our counterpart is attracted to meaning as far as people who who they would hang around you know what i'm saying i know the type of men that yeah i'm very positive i'm 100 percent because i knew i knew who she considered her like like her brothers beforehand i know those kind of i know who those dudes are you know what i'm saying yeah, some of them I, I don't consider them. Yeah, she don't talk to some of them now. So let me throw. <laughs> Back at the first lady. So you're cool with friends. Cool. You trust your husband. You trust him. You want him to be free. Is it okay for him to start new relationships while he's in the relationship? Can he get new female friends? that be okay because this is a trust factor we talk about you know you trust them on any if platform if it's genuinely a friend thing then i mean i'm not tripping on that so you can be like hey i'm at one thing one thing i know when I, as me as the first lady when i got married i know he didn't have eyes for nobody else even if he do there's consequences to everybody's actions. I can't control what that man do. He can't control what I do so if he want to go act crazy with new female friends up, then there's consequences but if he did come back with a female friend of course he's going to do the right thing and introduce us we probably be friends i mean it's not going to be a only him and her kind of thing when you are when since he is my husband if she is his friend she is our friend it's not just right. an individual like thing that. Like that. 
But if it's a genuine friendship, I'm not I'm not threatened by nothing. None of so, that. So as long as she's your friend and not just his friend, it's all. It, well, when you are in a marriage, nothing is just a one person thing. For sure. So if he, she want to be his friend, she's our friend. For sure. So if I had a male friend, I thought he was cool. I'd be like, yeah, this is my husband. You know, here he go. You know, this is us. It's not this is me. This is us. This is what you get when you fool with us. We're never going to be just individually going to hang out. It'll be us. But that that's how you respect your marriage, but you still don't cut it up. The voice of the dub. Don't touch the dial. Lead it. With, 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 with your host, Tromedy Drew. Mark Paris The Shop provides quality hairstyles as well as top-notch service and products for each of their clients. These renowned stylists and barbers combine knowledge, expertise, and the power of touch to achieve the desired results. They will go the extra mile to accomplish this mission with passion, expert advice, and the utmost professionalism and courtesy. So come to Mark Paris The Shop located at 6100 East 21st Street, Suite 210 in Oxford Square, just northwest of 21st and Woodlawn. Interested in being a guest on the Vibe Wichita podcast? Contact me on my Dramedy Drew Facebook page at TL underscore Andrews on Twitter, TL underscore Andrews on Snapchat, and Dramedy underscore Drew on Instagram. That's D-R-A-M-O-D-Y underscore D-R-E-W. You are locked into Vibe Wichita. Let's move along to another opinion. I would like to get the opinion of Pinky. What do you? How do you feel about this friendly thing? I agree with Paris with the whole if it's your friend, it's our friend. Because from my experience, you know, with my before my marriage and during my marriage, whenever, tr- whenever my husband, <laughs> whenever my husband would. Um, encounter like another a female and he thought that they were pretty cool or he he see he saw the need that she needed attention or something he was always referring them to me to say well there's so and so who might need a friend I, I met her this way or that way like he has a co-worker she considers me a friend she see Troy more than she see me but she considers me a friend only because she works with him is why she see him so you know we take our time and hang out and that's our friend when we hang out she's another married woman She's not single. So, you know, that is something in a marriage you have to learn. Once you cut off those ties, your friends fall off, you know, like Paris was saying, and you end up getting new friends, but they become our friends. So I agree with that. And then the friends that you have before your marriage, there should be boundaries to your friendship if it's the opposite sex, just like there's boundaries in the marriage. So if I have a male friend, there's boundaries that set, so that way they know they can't cross no lines to where it would make my husband feel threatened or make me feel that my friendship is threatened. And now I gotta put you to the side because my husband come first. Word, I like that. I like that. I really appreciate that. Miss Ene, how do you feel about this? This is Erin Ene. All right. So, <laughs> my friends that I have, I feel like my dudes gonna know my friends. Like, yeah, we're all, friends. we're, these is my brothers. <laughs> We all gonna know each other. Now, should no friends be, like if he has a female friend, I need to know her. That's just how I don't feel like y'all, if, if I don't know her and we ain't friends, that's a problem, that's a red flag. And I don't feel like, I mean like what is a friend, what's a friend? Like what are the boundaries? Just somebody that you cool with and be like, hey, what's up? Or somebody that you conversing with and making phone calls and hanging out y'all meeting up that's out of line that's yeah we're not doing that we're not doing that that is yeah you know, you're a friend you respect what i got going on it's a respect thing period wait say what say what my female friend she can't put her ticket in ticket or two in for me for them for that raffle for your shoes i don't care what she does now, if y'all go pick, no, that's if y'all go no. pick them up together and I don't know nothing about, like, it's that's a communication right. type thing. Yeah, no. That's you didn't relay that. Exactly. Thank you. You didn't relay that. Okay. Like I said, there's consequences to every action. 
It's you do what you do. If you delete, if you deleting messages, that ain't. I don't think that's a friend. That ain't your friend. It's something more. If you gotta delete stuff, okay, okay, deleting calls. Right, right, absolutely. Uh, Brother Chris Ellis, uh, aka Mr. Know It All, please enlighten us on how you feel about friendly women and, and manly friends. Well, you know, my opinion is probably the same as everybody else's. I really don't have women friends. I, I mean, I got very few that I call my sister. Uh, I don't know, you know, so I just don't, I don't think, you know, if you're married, we either doing it together and they, and they're both our friends or they're not, you know, I don't have single women friends. Or, so that's just where I'm at. Now, how, when, when is it, when does it go too far? When it beca- when you are uh, man and woman friends, like if you if I'm if I'm with somebody and that's a, like where where are the lines drawn? Where are the standards? Where are the what, like what what somebody help me with that? What, how do you get in when when is it to the point where you get in trouble for that other friend? Um, when when you gotta step out of the room to make phone calls when you deleting. <laughs> Like I just said, we delete messages, deleting your phone history, um, having them call one phone so you uh, all that. Come on, call my work phone. Don't the call phone, the trigger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be. Hey, come on, I'm about to read that. All that. And it shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen. Back, back it shouldn't happen. Go ahead, Miss Chanel. I think it's a boundary that you know if. My husband, per se, he just said he doesn't have single friends. But if she has a problem or encounter, encounters a problem, but she's supposed to be my friend too, or we all are friends, you don't call my husband and say, I need you to come over. Let's, I, you know, my kids need this or whatever, or I'm having a problem. No, you go, we going to call us and we both going together. So I think that for a boundary and for that example, you don't call my husband without letting me know, you know, I'm having a situation or whatever. I'm not light fixed. Can you help? No, we're going to go over there together. Now, if he chooses to go over there by himself, then that that's okay. What? Yeah. So that, that that's become a problem when it's not us and he leaves or, you know, versus me, you know, or I leave. Then that becomes a problem because then you leave your significant other. You leave your spouse thinking, well, what's really going on? And how long has this really been going on? So okay. now I got, I got something to add. Hold on. What's that? What's that? Nate you know, just explained it. He Nate just explained them sound like side chicks. Them don't sound like friends. Well, oh, no, 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 no. No, friends. You bet. Well, yeah. When they cross that line, we'll try. Friends. Yeah. Right. Well, First, lady. Friends. No. You can't First lady. Okay. Right. No. Wait a minute. Listen. Yeah. First lady. Yeah. Example. Consider your husband as my brother. He's not gonna call me and say, "Hey, you know, Chanel, I got can this you thing. You know, or, yeah, can you make this? Or you know, I want to see, you know, if you think my wife might like this. Okay, let me call my husband to let my husband know. Hey, h- honey, Troy called me and he wants me to go look at this dress. Do you want to ride with me? Because that's not gonna leave you feeling like, oh, why is he calling Chanel? You know, I'm going to let my husband know that, hey, such and such is calling me. He wants me to look at a dress and think if I like it for his wife. Let's go together. That's how you handle that and shut that down. Mm. 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 Yeah. Mm. I'm not going to hop in the car and leave him <laughs> by myself because then that leaves my husband wondering. Yeah. That leaves his yeah. wife wondering. Yeah, and what Chuck was getting ready to say, uh, I'm sorry, the professor was getting ready to say, I think it was on the lines of, he said something about leading them on. That is a behavior thing you that you know. have to seek out. I'm not going to be sitting here purposely trying to lead somebody on that I can see a friend. Now, like, you can't control their response. Just like I can't control the Troy go out and find a female friend. But you have to know like, if what, what that boundary, what that line is that they cross. And if it makes you feel uncomfortable, then they done crossed the line. They done hit that boundary. 
Not necessarily to say that you led them on. Yeah, but back to the profession. He said you shouldn't entertain oh. uh, uh, the opposite sex friendship from the get go. Am I right? To a degree. My to thing a degree? is, how many individuals have ended up cheating on their significant other or their mate with someone who was a friend? Started with a friendship. That's yeah. where that's where it started. Yes. Because ultimately, I'm coming to this person. Number one, I'm confiding in this person, and then. Nine times out of ten, you gotta you gotta hang with people that you find slightly maybe attractive, maybe not. It just depends. But ultimately, as I get to grow and learn your personality, you know that's gonna become attractive anyway. And then what I'm gonna tell you is, whatever he ain't doing correct, I'm sitting back analyzing so, the situation. I think that goes to. But why would you, if you, if I have a friend that's the opposite sex, I I'm not. If if I even had the potential of, I kind of might start. That's not how I, I would look at no friend. I don't, I, I wouldn't even, no, that's not a friend to me. Like, I would never, like, it's a respect. If I'm, if I'm with my husband, I can't cross that. I cannot. That's in my head. I cannot have that. So, I'm not even tripping. Like, I'm not going to have the, uh, he doing me wrong. Dude, so he over here and he hurt my feelings when he said, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. A lot of men. Not gonna waste time. Am I right? So you right. Know, you would oh, waste yeah. time whining to your girl, your, the fr female. Friend. Well, I don't think that men, a lot of men, specifically grown men, are not gonna create a lot of female friendships that they don't see getting something Can I out of. Can ask a question? Because it becomes a. a what do you get number. from even complaining about your spouse to you don't do the it opposite? Though. But what would what? Why wouldn't like? What do you get out of that? You should already know that setup. You should already be smart enough for that setup. To be calling somebody up when you single and do that, you know what you're oh. doing. So you shouldn't even fall for that. By the time you marry, you you know what you're doing. Exactly. You know what you're entertaining, and you know what could happen. So you, even though you know what you, what could happen, that should have stopped you the possibility. So if you don't want to stop at the possibility and you want to keep going, <laughs> then comes your consequences. You got to be smart. So you should ultimately know yourself. No, you're bound. You should not. But if you consider, if you considering this person a, a friend, then you should. Y'all should. Even though you don't literally say we can't do this, we can only do this. You don't have to do that. But all I'm saying is, if she's genuinely a friend, or if he's genuinely a friend, the respect level could, gotta be like period. Gotta be set. Period. Sure, right. You already know. Like mine. All right, all right. I appreciate everybody's opinion on that situation. I know that uh, this actually low key is probably like it. It, it happens a lot, especially with the, with, with the. I don't want to say younger generation, but it happens with a lot of marriages, and it, it happens subconsciously. You don't think about like who you're talking to. Sometimes you just casually we're friends. You know, you're, you're a friendly person, so you can make a friend by just being nice to him. But some people mistake your kindness for weakness. I know a lot of, not, not a weakness. Well, yeah, yeah, a weakness. They they, they take that kindness and, they, and it, it goes elsewhere. See, I'm nice to everybody for the most part. I'm nice to everybody. So for women that I'm just nice to, that I'm just talking, I'm just being normal, they could take that the wrong way. They do take that the wrong way. Until they find out that I have a very beautiful, voluptuous, virtuous woman. Like, I don't know. Do women not look at rings on no, fingers anymore? Happen. Okay. They do if they I probably. Their own. They don't. But care. sometimes if a man don't care about the ring, then it ain't going to matter no way. Right, right. I just feel like there's a difference between associates and friends. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Can't there's a difference. Anybody. Yeah, you can't call everybody your friend. It's the truth. Sometimes you, you, you might agree. be sleeping hey. with the associates. That's the truth. That's the truth. You know what we do around this time? The voice of the dub has spoken. Thanks for hanging with us and tuning in to Vibe Wichita. Wichita. Act like y'all know. Peace. Hey, if you're interested in being a guest on Vibe Wichita, contact me on my Facebook page, Dramedy Drew. That's D-R-A-M-O-D-Y-D-R-E-W. W. 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 W.